This video describes pinpoint scan and how it can work in your business environment. You may ask, well, what is pinpoint scan and where can I get it? Pinpoint scan is an exclusive Kia Sara product, which you can get from your local simile sales representative. It is designed to make scanning to a user PC simple and secure without having IT assistance. It has an easy user setup and interface, which can be customized to meet each end user's needs. So let's now review how this works. The first thing you need is the pinpoint scan executable file. You can get this from your dealer or from your IT department. Double click on the file. It'll extract. After extracting, this license agreement comes up. Accept the license agreement terms after reading and then click install. This can take a few moments depending on the speed of your PC. After it installs, the complete the pinpoint scan setup wizard comes up. Put a check mark and launch pinpoint scan and hit finish. Pinpoint scan will run in the lower bottom right hand corner, as you can see here. Next, we're going to set up and configure pinpoint scan. Go to the bottom right hand corner, right click on pinpoint scan, and go to identification. Here we set the pin code that we want to use for pinpoint scan. This is important. The pin code is a unique ID that identifies you, the user, to the machine. It's important that everybody has a unique pin identifier. It must be at least four digits and must be numbers. For this case, we're going to use a very simple pin code, one, two, three, four. We can verify that by hitting display pin. Next, we hit save. It's letting me know that I've only chose a four digit pin code, which isn't completely secure, but secure enough for this instance. Click OK, and your PIN has been saved. Click OK again. By default, there are three destinations for pinpoint scan. First is desktop. When you choose desktop from the MFP, the scan will go directly to your Windows desktop. Email will send the document to your computer, launch a compatible email client such as Outlook, create a new email, and automatically attach the document. My Documents allows you to browse your My Documents folder from the MFD and choose which folder to put it into. These can all be edited by hitting Edit and it allows you to change the file name so that you have to enter it at the panel and change the file type, whether it's a PDF black and white or a PDF color. Also, you can change the location that it will store it to. You can also create new destinations by creating a new destination name, telling what type of destination it is, telling it the location that you want the destination to go to, and then choosing your defaults. and then clicking Save. Now, when you walk up to the machine and use your unique PIN identifier, you will now see four options instead of the default three. Once you're done, close Pinpoint Scan, making sure that it stays running in the bottom right. Now that setting and configuration has been completed, now we're going to learn how to use Pinpoint Scan. On the new version Kia Sarah's, you will see the pinpoint scan application here on the home screen. Any of the older versions, you will find a button on the keypad um, for applications, which you'll just select. Once you find the pinpoint scan icon, we're just going to hit select. And then you'll see um, where we're going to put our unique pin um, identifier. Once we select that, we're going to hit connect. And when it opens up the pinpoint scan, you're going to find the different um, icons for where we can place our scan documents. First, we have our desktop, which allows us to place any of the documents on our desktop. 
for our email, what happens is it opens up your compatible email client, auto creates a brand new email, attaches the document to it, and waits for you to come and address and send it off. Next, you have your My Documents folder, which allows you to browse your My Documents folder from the MFD and choose where you want the scanned document to go. Next, we have our scanned folder that we actually set up for um, the purposes of this tutorial. And here you'll see where you can actually ch give it a file name opposed to a generic number. We can choose File, and we can just type in our name. For today, we're just going to use Test. And then we're just going to follow the prompts on the keypad and say Next. What you'll find here is the um, defaults that are actually set up for um, this folder and we can make any changes that we need to. So if we need to make it black and white, we can do that here. If we want to make it duplexed, if we want to change the mix sizes, all that stuff can be changed here. Once we're ready, we're going to place our documents in the feeder and we're going to hit scan. What this does is it's just going to scan the document. Now before it sends off this document, it's going to allow you to scan more if you wanted to scan more pages or we can just select finish which completes the process. What's really great about pinpoint scan it allows especially for users that are doing multiple documents it'll, it keeps the application open so you can continue adding to the different places that you'd like to um, instead of having to keep opening up your email. When you're finished you're just going to select X and you're back to um, the beginning. Now it's time to retrieve the scan. In the prior video, we scanned it to the scans folder that we created earlier on. So we're going to browse to that folder. Here we see our test document. We can then forward it on, delete it, or edit it, depending on your software. In conclusion, Pinpoint Scan simplifies the scanning and archival processes by eliminating the unnecessary steps traditional scan to email or scan to folder requires. Pinpoint Scan is just one of the many business applications that Kyocera has available to help you simplify your workflow processes and increase functionality in the workplace. Happy scanning!